Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm Simon on board Surinder, which is an XD Day boat, which is fantastic. Big old wooden boat. In today's episode, I'm going to be we're going to be trying to do a frame web frame, but also we need to put in some timbers to accept the floor beams, which our finished floor then will then eventually sit on. Um, but I need to open up the floor, make a bit of a mess to get these beams in. So I'll do a little drawing to show you what we're going to be what we're going to be achieving. So there's our engine bearer. Which has got a big chunk of material in there. Here's our hull. So we're going to be fitting a piece along here today. That's the piece. And then eventually we're going to be having our floor beams coming across. Which will then land on this beam. So we've also got this big chunk of steel here. So on the Medusa, the Medusa hasn't got these pieces of steel. I don't understand why there's so many variables within the HTMLs. Anyway, so this is basically a stiffener for when the... Because we had basically a one-ton gun on the deck. Uh, I think it's just purely a stiffener. So this is going to come out. Because basically it's gonna, it could cause us problems in the future. Because um, of the corrosion. Uh, we didn't really need it. We're going to be replacing it with other beams, other structure to make a nice triangle down there. So I think the first job is to get rid of that and prepare the area. So, we've now got the beam in. We haven't got it in, we've just got it placed there at the moment on screws. So pull some screws, measure down, marks it, pull some screws. That gives us somewhere to land, gives us somewhere to test it then basically, it doesn't sit. So we can make sure all the, so perfectly aligned and then we can then fix it. But before we fix it, we need to do some notching. So we need to notch out around this piece of material here um, so then it fits nice and snug up to the bulkhead and then we can then eventually come off this way. Um, it's going okay? That'll pull in quite nice once um once it's bolted up. So going right down there, put a scarf on that end. But what I may as well do is the the other side of the beam. So then we can then clamp them both together. So I'm just balancing it. Um so this is what it's got originally. High quality piece. So we may as well parallel these two now all the way down, and then we can then bolt them through. And then they're there then for when this area of the floor goes in and it gives really good strength to the to the beam, doesn't it? To the bearer, to the engine bearer. You know what I've been doing mostly today? Messing around with all the cameras, these things, they just freeze all the time, there's no audio, so you have to check that you're getting the audio. If anybody knows, obviously we're running GoPros on a GoPro 9 because we bought the 10 and the 10 just, we're not happy with the 10 at all. But we really need to like progress with our cameras because we spend a lot of time messing around trying to make them work. And then sometimes you get home and you realize you've got no audio or it throws or it's a corrupt file or you'd really think GoPro would like have it nailed by now, wouldn't you? But not really. If you know any good manufacturers of cameras or something like that, you know the environment we work in. So we can't really have a big posh like BBC camera on our shoulder. You know what I mean? We need something you can like drop in the bilge. Anyway, right, let's crack on. 
So yeah, we've got to lift this floor, get rid of this, try and get a beam in as long as we possibly can. <laughs> We're going to use the the West G Flex adhesive, which is basically a pre thickened um, epoxy adhesive, which is nice. So thank you very much to West for sending sending us this out to test. So now we need to figure out how to put the the floor back in in the middle between the two engine bearers because um, we've now changed the the mounting, haven't we? So gotta try and do some jiggering. Oh God, I, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't fall over. I nearly fell over then. But basically, that goes all the way down there now. So there's our scarf. All down, glued. Perfect amount of ooze. And then it goes down the other side. So, not, not only does it give our floor something to land on, or our floor beams to land on, it actually adds a bit of strength to the hold on it. So, and obviously when we open up this side of the boat, we'll, we'll do um, you know, the same along that side. Gives you a feel of what it's going to be like when it's all new, doesn't it? Can't wait till it's like all new floor. Not long now, dear, not long now. Okay, I'm going to get that wet frame, take it out, and go and paint yeah. it now it's all dry. Cool. This is obviously the one we, we, um, we steam bent, didn't we? Yes, so that one's been there for a week now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take it out, paint it, and then it's ready for when it needs to go back in. All right, I'll let you get this one out. Okay. Oh, you <laughs> I'm good at handling wood. Okay, so the water's coming in, so we need to hustle now and then um, get the new frame in. 
and then get some nails in it, hopefully, because it's like borderline waterline. So let's get it in. The nails do in there. I'm on target there. Okay, one little one. Another little one. Um, yeah, perfect. That isn't a gap, that's just the colour of the wood. There we go. Did we do a thing? We did a good job. <laughs> Right, mask and tape so we don't get it all over ourselves. Okay, extract. Just for future reference, that one I've just nailed in. Yeah. That's like 10 mil above the scribe line. Oh my god. Right, are you ready on the top? I'm ready. <laughs> Little wonkies out here still. Oh, yeah, I've third one down, yeah? Okay. Right, come. Second one. still coming in so just in time no weirdly it's just sort of starting it's getting there okay So these two frames here are the ones we did quite a long time ago, this one we just inserted now. So we need to cut it off and then put another piece of patch plywood over it. But I don't, don't want to put it all the way here because the rainwater technically runs all the way off and then goes off the side there. So I'm going to put an extra sheet in as well because we have got a bit of a water leak there. So good time now to like make sure the water goes overboard.
So I've actually got this saw powered off our EcoFlow system. It handles the power really, really well. Any grounds with your, hey, your grain with your other camera. You're f I'm filming me, you're filming me, filming you. Fil I, I love I love it on YouTube videos and stuff like that, where you can see the other camera in the background. Oh. <laughs> I'm always like, Oh, there's a camera. <laughs> Don't give away the illusion. We don't use cameras, we just appear on just your appear, television. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Well, the, the camera Gemma's using down there is a GoPro 10. So hopefully she uses some of that footage and you'll see how like pathetic it is. Considering like the latest camera pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, we like the nine better. The color colors on the 10. Just no. We can't figure it out, can no. we? Yeah. We're not good with cameras. <laughs> Right, they're all just trying. So should we watch it? Yeah, you watch that one. I'll watch this one. Well, if you watch them both, then. Should we put them in front of the heater? <laughs> Speed the job up a bit. Well, we'll just tidy it up and it'll be dry, it'll be dry then, won't it? So it's time for the web frame now. Done the frame, time for the web frame. Let's go and see if Gemma's paint's dried. So we've left it on the aft deck. Um, so, could be a bit of wind across it. Should be drying out, would have thought. Look how wonky it is. It's like a big um, woolly mammoth tusk. That's what it reminds me of. Right, let's go and fit it. Jimmy just asked me to stop. But Gemma just asked me to stop, but I'm on the last one. <laughs> so I can't reverse all these, unfortunately. And the quality of the camera's probably going to be rubbish. Oh, you're so negative. I'm so Jen. negative, but I just really have had a bad time with GoPros. <laughs> okay, so our packers are ready to be packed. Be packed in before we fit the web frame. Yeah. So then we don't need lots of goo. Okay. Glue. With goo. <laughs> Can we glue? And gloves. And gloves. We've done this before, right? And we've fought with it. We've done it on a time lapse. We've been scrapping. It's popping off. Clamps are coming off everywhere. And that just went dead easy. So every one we're going to film, though. 
<laughs> it's usually the other way around, it's usually when we film, so, and it goes like they're totally wrong. So got a few alignment issues at the top, it needs we'll the popping bottom. over there, so I think as we screw it, we're going to have to like push it, but the bottom looks good. So, so we're going to just temporarily put some screws in it. That's absolute rubbish, because we say that temporarily, <laughs> two months later it's still held together with like dodgy screws. Yeah, we've still that. got all of the copper to do, but they will get done when we've got a day of nice weather and low water. Well, we're basically almost finished, so we're going to have no choice. Yeah. So, these two gun mounts, we just, we don't know what to do. Because they're not very happy. They're not basically 1940s plywood but also as well they're taking up quite a bit of space inside aren't they some real estate yeah and we don't plan on mountain guns back on the deck no i'm just i mean they had a bit of structure but on the other one they're in pretty bad nick and if you remember well, this one doesn't have no structure because there's nothing at the bottom know, yeah 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 so i but if we take it out of this side, we'll have to take it out of the other side. Okay, I don't think we take them out until we do the deck. Okay. So because it is, now. we know the deck is very, very poorly and it is providing some support, some yeah. support to the deck. So okay. I think, I think they do come out, mm. but I don't think they come out just yet. Okay, that's a good idea. And also it keeps, because these are all sawn timbers, like it keeps the shape okay. of the hole. Yeah. So yeah. I think when all the woodwork's done down here we'll and the deck's done, okay. then I think they come out. That's a good plan, man. Do we agree on something? Well, Boom. it saves me fixing them. <laughs> <laughs> and as well, we could we could cut it up and everyone, do you know what, you could actually use it for something good. Yeah, because we don't get much good wood out of this boat. No. But the bits that we have managed to salvage, I've done something really interesting with them. So, what was it? Made of fire. <laughs> Kept yourself warm at night. <laughs> there is so limited. We do take bags and bags and bags of rotten, rotten, crumble, crumble. Right? Yeah. Which, to be honest, I burn all that. Then I get the copper at the end. So we've got like a load of copper at the moment, yeah. but I don't know what to do with it. So I've been playing with some of the original frames, you know, like bits that we've mm. we've took out, and I've cleaned up relatively well. Mm. So what I'm going to do with this piece that I've made. I'm going to raffle it off. So, if you're interested in actually having a little bit of history, a bit of surrender. Yeah. yeah. You know, this ward has been through World War Two. Yeah. It's a uh, you know over 80 years old, and so is the coffer as well. So, if you're interested in helping support the project mm. by you know buying a raffle ticket to win this then i'll drop a link in the description for the raffle i might be able to scrap enough wood together to raffle off a few so there might be yeah. in this raffle i'm holding now there might be more than one winner oh a couple of surprise winners eh? yes okay. so basically what we can do we can have like what do you call it the thumbnail for this episode saying we're selling the boat yeah <laughs> we're selling the boat That'll really get some people going. <laughs> Sorry for the clickbait if that's yeah, why you're here because you've seen the thumbnail and the title. Selling little bits of the boat at the time, trying to smuggle it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, how many opportunities do you get to actually own a, a bit of history? A bit of history, yeah. yeah. And it goes to a good cause, I think, which is us, as in, which is surrender. Yes, because um, we need to raise some funds because yeah, we've we're running out of copper nails. <laughs> So we need yeah. to do a copper nail order, which... Yeah. I, I, I'd, we, have, I'd have thought all them nails would have lost, it was like, forever. <laughs> but since we bought the big batch of copper nails that we bought last year, the prices have gone through the roof. Have Yeah. Oh. So all the money raised in this raffle will be going for copper nails. Cool. So thank you so much. If you do buy a ticket, cheers for supporting the project. I was going to say goodbye then. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Come on. I've, I've done that loads of times on YouTube videos. Everyone's been like, Right, blah, 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 gone.
Was that the end? That was no, the end. Back to work. Back to work. <laughs> Do you know what's the worst thing I'm working on this floor is every time you're over here. You've got. <laughs> One day I'm going to fall and break a leg, aren't I? You're insured for that. I'm not, you know. Quite a major milestone that all in this starboard side bow area now. We've got one web frame to do and literally these frames just need doing halfway off. <laughs> so I think technically the next episode. In the next episode. Right, can you say this on camera? Can you say it actually like, say we're going to have this done? Right, okay, we are going to have this done in the next episode. What? And don't shoot me with it, because <laughs> if it like pees down or something. No. But no, we are like that close to finish. But why didn't we do those frames a while back? Do you want to see what's been holding us back from doing these frames? Come on, I'll take you up and show you. Give us a hand. <sighs> So them last two frames are just below here. So we're gonna have to take all the bulwarks off. Otherwise we won't be able to get them in. So next time we come, which they're not, they're not doing anything apart from stopping me falling in the mud, but it's never happened. So, but obviously when we take them off, we're opening ourselves up to more water ingress because there's not much water that comes in around this area so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bulkheads and then we're going to properly sheet up all down the side nope huh. i think there's a um... this way up <laughs> yeah my car on. that's not right oh yeah It's amazing how close we are to like this being done. I think it's like every week when you're just doing like the same work, you, you don't feel like you're achieving anything. But then if you go back and look at the first videos, go back and look at episode 17 where we first started um, in, in this bow area. And just when you compare then to now, it's quite amazing, really. Ready? Very busy episode so we are so close to getting this done so last week i received something in the post mm. i got sent a bottle of whiskey yeah. from you, rolf you drink much whiskey <laughs> i do actually <laughs> so um what we've decided we haven't really got a whiskey plank mm. and we can't really have a a finished whiskey frame because there's still so many frames mm. to do but sh next week when this is done shall we have a whiskey Bow, starboard side, finished. <laughs> Whiskey drink. Yes. Okay. And it all you need to celebrate with us as well because yeah. this is going to be quite an achievement yeah. that we've got all yeah. of this side done. What a year into this, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's worth celebrating. Yeah. So yeah. come back next week to see that happen. I'm quite excited. Ho hopefully it happens. So thank you so yeah, much for so watching. Best. Thank you so much to all our supporters and all our Patreons yeah. who really do help keep this project going yeah. and it allows us to spend more time at the yeah, boat, doesn't time, it? Yeah, more time, yeah. 
Yeah. Money on the boat. Yeah. Right. Don't forget about our raffle. The link is in the description, Ooh. which that'll help go towards the cost the of more nails. Mm. So you could win a piece of history. Yeah. So see you all next week. Cheers, guys. Bye for now. Bye.